this does look intense. I should have been in the other lane because this is getting stuck behind these guys doing a lift. So I'm not going to lie to you guys, that definitely threw me off. And now I'm going to make a left turn. I'm getting used to it now that I've had a few attempts around this roundabout. Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ammon and I'm a driving instructor. Now today's video is a little bit different as you can see from the title. I'm going to be taking you guys on a journey all the way to Swindon to go check out the Magic Roundabout. Now most of you have probably heard of the Magic Roundabout but don't really know what it's about. I've never been there personally um, but I have seen roundabouts similar to this. Now ultimately what it is is it's a roundabout which is made up of a series of mini roundabouts. So it is a little bit challenging so we're going to go through that today. I have seen similar roundabouts and actually driven on similar roundabouts like this. There's one in Heathrow, which isn't too far away from me. And then there's also one in Hemel Hempstead. I think that also has a name. I'll, I'll look that up and put that in the, um, in the video right here. Now, when it comes to dealing with roundabouts that are very close together, you usually have to think about what you intend to do on the second roundabout and position accordingly. But here we're gonna have two, three roundabouts, one after the other. So you have to position for the second and then start to position quickly for the third. So mirrors are a must when it comes to this roundabout. So yeah, I haven't checked out any diagram videos. I haven't looked at the Google sort of street maps or anything to kind of get acquainted with the area. So for me, it's gonna be completely new. I'm simply gonna drive there and just try out a variety of different exits and you guys can see how to do a roundabout like this, the magic roundabout. Oh, bless him. He's actually like pouting and taking a picture. That was cute. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him I'm not gonna point the camera at him. That was quite cute. So if you guys enjoy watching this content and learn something along the way, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new. Now I'm going to get started and head to the area so you guys can check out the rest of the video. Okay, so I've officially arrived. I've now parked on a random road, but I'm going to get started because we're ready to go. And I'm going to just try out this roundabout from a variety of exits and uh, see how it goes because I am not familiar with the roads around here at all. So this will be quite interesting. Okay, so coming up ahead of me should be the magic roundabout. I see the diagram. See, this doesn't look too bad. So we've got five roundabouts, five mini roundabouts, and I will go to the town centre, which is over towards the left. I'm going to pop into the left lane, because that will take me left on the first one. So I'm going to make a left turn and then a right turn and then a left. So left, okay, sorry. Let's try this out. I'm already confused because there's so many roundabouts. I should have been in the other lane because this is getting stuck behind these guys doing a left. So I'm doing a left. I'm checking the right side because I want to go into that middle lane because I want to go towards the right from here. So I'm indicating right. Roundabout's clear. Here we are. And on this one, it's now a left turn. Wow, there's like three, four lanes on every roundabout. Okay, I see what the fuss is about. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that definitely threw me off. So now ahead of me I have the roundabout. This time I'm gonna take the siren cess the second exit again. So it's a left, right, left again. So I'm gonna stick to the left lane because there are two. Just about enough space for my car here. I'm going to pop on my left indicator. Okay, so the first roundabout, fairly easy, open view. You can see it quite well. Now I want to make a right turn, so I'm going to take a wider position. Signal right. And there is a white car not signaling. I can keep going. As I'm taking this turn now, it's a left on this one, so I'm checking the left side. Positioning over, signaling. This roundabout's pretty clear. The middle, I expected that middle bit to be a lot bigger than it is. So I'm still, I did the roundabout both times, kind of clockwise. I'm gonna try it anti-clockwise. So I'm still going round the roundabout clockwise, but then anti-clockwise to get to my exit. Hope that makes sense. Because there are two ways of getting to the same exit. Okay, so this time round, I'm gonna go round the roundabout anti-clockwise. So I'm gonna to go towards the right, which is the third exit for Oxford. Two o'clock. 
So it's a right, then a left, then a right. So I'm going to start on the right for this one. The traffic lights are a lifesaver right now because I can get to see the roundabout a bit more. Okay, so the roundabout in the middle isn't actually that large. I'm going to signal right. So we have what looks like three lanes here. And I'm going to check the right side, looks clear. Now on this one it's a left turn, so I'm checking that left mirror and keeping left. But I should have probably positioned middle, and I'll go into that in a second, because I'm going to go right on this one. Yes! On that middle roundabout, I should have been in the middle lane, because that would have made it easier for me to um, take the position for the third roundabout. So like I said earlier, you need to, when it comes to two roundabouts very close together, you would usually think about the second roundabout and what you're going to do and position accordingly. So the fact that I was taking a right turn on the third, I should have been in the middle on the second one. So I'm going to make a right, then a left, then a right, and I'm aiming for that middle lane. But to start, I'm going to go in the right one, checking the right side, staying on the right. So to turn right, I had to stay right. I can't start from the middle because it was road marked for um, town centre, which is over towards the left. So I'm signalling right. It's very nice and clear towards my right. And I'm going to check the left mirror as I'm going. Now I'm going for that middle lane. Yes, I'm still guessing. <laughs> The right hand side's clear and I'm turning now I'm going to take the right position there's a blue car to my right and here we are hope that made sense that time that was a lot better thank you if I do say so myself here we are and there's my exit okay so this time I want to make a left turn but I'm gonna go anti-clockwise so I'm gonna go through each of the roundabouts so I'm gonna start with a right turn then a left then a left then a left and then a right at the very end okay so I'm going towards North Star Gorse Hill so I'm gonna make a right turn here so right signal definitely the left lane is dividing into two the right is not where would that middle lane be going oh to make a right turn on that second one I get it answered my question myself okay so making a right turn this one's quite easy I can enter straight away as soon as I enter whoa, can't talk I keep towards the left and now I'm gonna make a left turn so my exits over there so I've got another one two three roundabouts to go I can see the van in front is going to be a block and I can enter because these lot are in the other lane. Okay, so this is a left turn done. And this is now the left turn done because everyone's queuing. Now I need to make a right turn there so it looks like I need to be switching over and towards the same lane as them. But there's no possible way I could have got there from the other lane so I'm just going to wait here. I want to say you could take the middle lane but... They the traffic here is telling me I, I shouldn't be doing it, so I'm not going to be pushy. Thank you. I'm just going to wait here, and I'm making a way, my way in towards the right. It's very busy all of a sudden. So by the looks of it, there's only one lane that's going towards this exit. The other two go back into the roundabout. As you exit each of the roundabouts, once you're actually leaving the magic roundabout, there's a traffic light on what looks like every single exit. So that's something else to be cautious about. Okay, I want to go towards Siren Sister from this side. So it's a left, then a right, then a left. Now the traffic is very, very busy again. And the person in front of me is unfortunately on the yellow box, which is not good. Now I know from before, there's only space for one car just before the traffic light, so I need to make sure that there's enough space for me to go ahead, which just about, there we are. So the left turn I can do, 
and then it's a right turn from there. So I'm going to take a left, but I'm going to take a really wide left now. I'm making sure the traffic light is still green before I continue. And there we are. Changes to red. <laughs> There's a shop called the Magic Tippy. That's prime placement for that. That's good. So it's a pelican crossing, flashing amber, nobody crossing. I'm going to continue. Here we are. So I'm going for a left turn, but I need that right lane. So I'm taking a wider left turn. So I need to go across into the other lane. There's a black car to my right, but that blue car is ideally going to block. But when this Audi's not there, there we go. Taking a wide left turn. Here we are. Now we're making a right turn. After this grey car I can enter. And then in the new road I want to be left again for my exit and left. Again, traffic light crossing. I need to wait here and make sure there's enough space just ahead of it. So with some of these left turns or right turns that I'm doing, I'm using the term wide. So as you're making these turns, if you're making a wide turn, it means you want to go further into the turn to make it. So instead of just doing a normal left, you're going to go across to the opposite side. That way you're in position for the next turn. It's when you're normally turning onto like a dual carriageway, that's when you would make a wider position. If you were making a, let's say a right turn, but you want to make a right wide turn so that you end up in the left-hand lane on the carriageway. Okay, so I've got the roundabout ahead of me again, and I'm gonna go towards Walcott Old Town. Okay, so it's a left. And there's a lot of traffic headed towards my right, so it might be easier for me to take it from the left rather than to take it from the right. Right would be shorter though. So it's a left turn here. Now this is all one lane, really wide lane. There is a car to my left, so I'm gonna keep an eye on them because I'm not really too sure. It's gonna go over that way. It's just a right turn here. Good, now I need to go for that wide position into the left-hand lane. And a left turn here. wasn't too bad actually that worked out really easily I'm getting used to it now that I've had a few attempts around this roundabout but I can see for someone doing it for the first ever time this does look intense oh where's this little red car going but I have to go forward because it's not like a glove because it's a tiny space. And this is the only time when dry steering is necessary. Oh, I'm in. Nice. Yes, I am very proud of my parking there. It's funny, looking at this roundabout, it doesn't seem too busy around this side. Like this whole section's quite all right. It's really busy on that exit, that exit, and that exit right there. So these two exits on my left and the one where I'm standing, they're actually okay. Okay, I can see how this can probably get very messy at times. Alright guys, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully you have found this video to be useful, so don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below because I love reading through your comments, and thank you for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and select that bell icon so that you get a notification every time that I upload, and see you next time!